You know it's hard out here for the things When your printer's not printing what you think We have all the colors that you may need From a company that name is that ain't poppin' Hard out here for the things When your printer's not printing what you think We have all the colors that you may need From a company that name is that ain't poppin'
Hello everyone, this is Sir Smith back with you. Um, we're going to start out by keep pressing the wood sign. In order to do that, we will first lay our bush of paper on our platter. Then we'll grab a wood that we choose to heat press with. And we set on top of the bush of paper. Okay guys, one thing we're gonna talk about here is that our heat press here is only 16 by 20. And this board is 12 inches wide and 24 inches long. So let me get my heat gloves. Because it's going to get hot. I should have been having to open up my hand over them now. Okay. So I'm putting on um putting on my putting on my heat gloves. And as you guys can see here, we'll see how heat resistant they are. They are. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Like I was saying, this is 24 inches, and with our platter here, it's only 16 by 20. So we will have to press two times per press in order to get the results that we need. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull down some, get my laminated paper, Well, my laminated sheet. And I'm going to lay across. And I did cut it an inch on each side longer than what is required. And you also may want to get a laminated sheet that is somewhat wider also than your project because um when I bought this lemonade sheet here I only got the 12 by 100 yards and you still want to have your, you still want to have some space because the when the heat hit the lemonade sheet it will shrink but hey <clears throat> for the sake of tutorial uh, you guys know we're just gonna we're just gonna use what we have okay so we just line it up. Line it up to our liking. If you have to because the heat, just pull it back up. And try to get everything lined up. And you wanna smooth it out. And see if you had got everything lined up the way you want. Okay, so I'm pretty much cool with that. And again, we will be pressing two times. So let me get my bunch of paper. All right, we're gonna spread on top of our laminated sheet. And I will be medium pressure for 60 seconds. Between anywhere, anywhere between 395, 400 degrees. Here we go. Okay, everyone, we're back. I'm about to pick it up. And I'm going to turn around for our next press. And be careful because the um, your overlapping laminated sheet can't get stuck to your bottom of your butcher paper. So sometimes just make sure you cut just only what you need, okay? So as you guys see, I'm turning it around. It is hot. So having your heat resistant gloves.
Okay. So I'm going to smooth that out. And you guys see here how it sticks because of heat. So what I would do is that I'll show you guys later. But let me go ahead and press this first and get this stuff out of the way. Okay. About to do our next press. Here we go. Okay. We are back. And I'm about to lift up the butcher paper. Oh, okay. You know what? what? I don't know if you guys can see this here, but my butcher paper did not stick here. There's a whole lot of moisture inside of it. And I don't know why that is because um, I don't have a flat, smooth surface. But I was going for a certain type of look with Kobe, so I'm not going to too much worry about that. But you do want to press on the smooth surface wood board. Wood. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put down my bunch of paper. I'm going to grab a scissors. Um, the scissors at? Okay, there they are. Okay. I'm going to pull away. Well, I'm going to lift. Because, like I was telling you guys, if your laminated sheet is too long, it will stick to your butcher paper. So be careful. Be careful while doing that. Don't have as long as I did. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim away from it. <clears throat> so bear with me. I'll take my scissors. And I'm not trying to get a per perfect cut right now. I just want to... I just want to trim away from the the excess laminating sheet. And guys, please wear your heat um, your heat gloves because this wood is hot. So I'm going to turn this around. Put out the excess. Put out the excess on this side. I'm not trying to make it perfect at the moment. I just don't want to stick it on our next press. Okay. So. And too, when you get spray, it's better to try to get some um, heat resistant spray. I know it seems kind of crazy, but they have spray that could take, that could take up to a uh, high temperature and heat. So, feel pretty smooth. Okay, now let's get our design. First, let me do another pre press. I don't like it. I just want to tap it down a little bit more on this end. So I'm I'm leaving, I'm leaving them for like at least about 20, 25 seconds. And you gotta remember this trial and error. And um you guys will figure your uh heat press out and you'll figure what temperatures, time, timer, and everything that you need to, to get what you're trying to to reach your goal. Okay, so I'm gonna lift this up. Put away a bunch of paper. And remember, you get a smooth surface board. Because if not, you will get a bubble. Because it cracks inside of the wood here. But I was trying to go for a certain look. Bang. Hey, you guys get the point. All right, let me grab Kobe. 
All right. Here we go here. You guys see this is what we're going to be pressing? Toby. So I'm going to start. Which way I'm going to lay it down? Um, let's see which way I like to look here. Um, let's go ahead and just, I'm just going to lay it down this way. And this is a tricky part here. Um, lining it up. So what I'm going to do is if I don't have any boo-boos, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to line it up. Then we're going to come back and start the video again. And we'll go from there. What I mean is um, I'm going to line Kobe on here the way I want it without worrying about burning myself. Hello, everyone. We are back. And like I was saying before, I had stopped the video that I was going to tape um, our design and um, tape it to the wood like we did the license plates, okay? Um, are you doing the same thing that you see me do earlier in the video where all I did was just um, flip over the image um, on the bottom and I just put us um item that we're going to um something made on on top of it line it up then tape it the same way you see the same way you guys see me do it with the lights in place okay so with that being said let's go ahead and uh put the bushel paper on there so we can go ahead and press all right so remember this is two parts i have to press one time i have to pick it up spin it and press it uh, again okay so here we go first press Remember, put your bushel paper on top of Okay, we're back. I'm lifting up the step away from the gas. All right, we're gonna pick it up. Remember, have on your gloves, okay? Because this wood's gonna be hot. I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm not going to pick it up. I'm just going to take the bottom butcher paper and I'm just going to spin it around. But I do want to make sure that I have it. Y'all see. I just want to make sure that I have it. Okay, cool. Good. What I mean is I want to make sure that the wood it's on top of the butcher paper towards the back here, the rear end. And we're gonna line this up. I'm gonna pull back a little bit because no, there's no need for us to press everything, but you're gonna you're gonna press some part of your item twice anyways, because hey, that just something had to happen because we don't have a, a bigger press. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna step away from the gas. I wanna breathe breathe that stuff since I don't have no type of face but face mask on, a gas mask on. Alright, removing the butcher paper first. Remember guys, I didn't use a straight, smooth surface wood. I was trying to go for a certain type of look, but hey, we're going to see if I, um, I should have did that anyways. But remember, I'm not going to hide anything from you guys. I'm going to reveal, you know, reveal everything because, hey, you learn from me too, and I learn from you guys. So let's see here. I want to take this off. Uh, oh, yeah. Just let me go ahead and just... Let me see if you allow me to do it. Okay. Okay. I see some mistakes. But hey. Let's see if I need to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there goes some mistakes there. But that's fine. That's okay. That's what, that's what I'm here for. Those mistakes we learn together. 
what to do and what not to do. Yeah. Okay. Stick my hand in here so I can peel away from it. Okay. We're going to reveal, reveal what not to do. <laughs> All right. Like I was telling you guys earlier, that you need to press on a smooth surface if you're using wood. Well, anything had to be smooth surface. But I was trying to go for a certain look and I want to experiment. And um, I'm not afraid to show no one my trial and, uh, trial and errors. So, put away the tape here. Peel off this paper here. And let me reveal is reveal to you guys and show you how this look on this type of wood. Okay. Did you see? I didn't get what I was looking for. But hey. I take it. I know not to I know not to next time make sure I use the smooth surface wood. Okay, smooth surface wood, and you also you want to make sure that your laminate, uh, your whatever you're laminating, um, with is at least a fourth or a half inch overlapping, and you want to make sure that your image is at least a of of one fourth of an inch or a half of an inch overlapping your item also. Okay. So I'm just showing you guys here. I was doing a test, and like I said, I wasn't afraid to fail on the camera. But hey, I kind of like that though. Cause what I would do is I would take some things here, brush it up, and just go for what I know. Okay. All right, everyone, we're moving on to our next project. And um, let me wipe on my forehead cause it's hot. Have the air conditioning off. Had to do it for you guys so that um the air conditioning won't be blowing in the video as I'm recording with the mic. If you guys ever record, you guys understand what I mean by that. These mics nowadays catches everything, every type of sound. So what I'm going to do next is let's go ahead and get this shirt out the way. I was going to use a brand new shirt, but I told myself, all right, just for the tutorial, I'm going to use the shirt that I did on one of my previous videos that I did here. I'm going to use the bottom part and press on that. Okay. So I'm set on the shirt. Remember guys, when you're doing your shirt, you want to make sure you have a line correctly. You want to make sure your measurements is right. But for the, for the tutorial here, I'm going to just press because we went over there in my previous videos, okay? So I don't think I'm doing, going, to, going to do it is get my design. I'm going to press it and show you guys what it looks like and move on to our next um, item, okay? So let me get you know, before then, let me, before that, let me um. Uh, let me get the bush paper so I can level this off again. So I'm just gonna set the bush paper here, and I need to twist down. Okay. I'm gonna set my time different also so that when I try to check it. I'm gonna do this live too guys. I'm gonna show y'all everything because you gotta gotta know what goes on in the lab. What I'm doing now is just adjusting my time stuff because this automatic lock, once I press down, it's going to press 
and press until the time is up. So I'm setting it on one second. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't see my pressure, make sure everything is right for the t-shirt. Okay. I need more pressure. And adjust it. I need a whole lot more pressure than that. Okay. Let me check the pressure again. Okay. That's too much pressure. So let me ease off a little bit. Okay, now let me check it again. Okay, just give me a little bit more pressure. Just give it a couple twists. I think this should be it right here. Oh, yeah. We got it. Okay. So now, let me go get our design. We'll give it a butcher paper. Go get our design. So, we're going to use Kobe, okay? And remember, I'm going to use the previous shirt that I used with my other tutorials. And I already pre pressed. Uh, let me lint roll it. <laughs> like I told you guys in my one of my other videos, let me lint roll it. Okay. Let's smooth it out a little bit. And again, we're using Kobe, okay? Set Kobe up about right here. I'm not trying to line the perfect, perfect guys, because y'all know this is a, just a tutorial right now. We're using something that I would use before. Just go and press it, show you guys what it looks like, and move on to the next. Okay, this is my butcher paper. Butcher paper. Put over the design. Up a little bit more. Okay. Let me set my time. I had to change it, so let me set it for. Let me set it for sixty seconds. What we're doing? Four hundred degrees, sixty seconds. Okay. Four hundred degrees, sixty seconds. That's what I'm setting my heat press for on my timer. Well, okay, here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, everyone, we're back. Step away from the gas. Move the butcher paper. We'll move my sublimation paper and we're going to see what we have here. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So let me uh, take it off of the press. Turn it around, okay? That's all I'm doing. Just turn it around so I can reach over so I can show you guys what we have here. Hope y'all can see that good. Look at Kobe. Look at him. Oh yes. Nice. That's one of my designs that I did for Kobe. All right. Put that to the side. And now we're going to move on to the license plates. Put the shirt down. All right. Let's move on to the license plates. Let's have fun with that. All right. Now, with the license plates being 6 inches by 12, 6 by 12 inches, I could put more than one license plate on here. You know, uh, let me move this first paper as you see. I put more than one license plate here on top here, right? Um, so, I'm going to put the butcher paper back up here. And 
gonna grab my first two six by twelve license plates. I go number one. Let's see how far can I go. Okay. Make sure I'm not on the edge. Make sure I'm on the edge. Cool. Okay. So now I just take my second one, line it up with this. Then I'm going to take my third one, line it up. And I'm going to save the um, dog tag in a, in a so-called business car for last, okay? So I'm just going to get the D3's license plates out the way first. We're going to knock out all three of these, three of these at once. I'm going to grab a butcher paper. And we're going to do 400 degrees in 60 seconds, okay? 60 seconds. Hope I have my pressure right. Hey, we're going to find out. Okay, we're back. All right, stepping away from the gas. I want to breathe it. I know y'all get tired of me saying that, but hey. Okay. Okay. Remember, remember, have on your heat gloves, okay? And uh, I would advise you guys to get something thicker than this, than these here. They kind of thin. Get something thicker, because they're going to be hot. Remove the butcher paper. You know what? I'm curious. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to pull one apart now. Cause I wanna see it's hot. But still, I don't care. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's hot. I feel it in my gloves how hot it is. So y'all see why I'm over here playing with it. Okay, I see where I made a mistake, but hey, that's what we're that's what we're here for. Make mistakes together and we learn from it. That's why you want to um remember when you do your designs, you also want to make your designs a little bigger than your item, okay? So that when you when you press, y'all see. Let me get this uh tape off of it. Wow. Look at this. Look at Kobe. Wow, look at this. Now that ink's popping. Okay. I hope you guys can see here. You want to make sure when you um doing your design, it is a little bit bigger than your item. So let's say this here is six inches. You want to do like six inches and what one fourth? Or maybe six inch inch and a half or some, you know, something like that. Or if you're going this way here, you want to do like what? 12 inches, one fourth, or maybe six inches and a half, you know, 12 and a half, I'm sorry. Um, 12 inches, one fourth, or 12 inches and a half, okay? This is Kobe, our reveal, reveal. Look nice. Set him down. Go ahead and do the other ones. Oh, 
Feng Shui. I'm going to do it here. Let's it over. Wow, this is crazy. This looks so good. Take the tape down, guys. Take the tape off, off my glove so I can move on to the next. Well, I didn't get this tape here, so let me get this, okay, put this over here, take the tape off my gloves, come on now, okay, we're going to do this one here, two, Slam jam. And let it reveal. Wow, I hope you guys can see that. Man. Turn it sideways. Wow, that is so nice. Oh, that looks so good. Wow. Let me turn this light off at the back here so we can get that reflection out of that. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Looks so good. Wow. I'm going to zoom in, get a little closer. Hope y'all can see that. All right. Now, let's go to the license plates. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Let me see where this is. Okay. Look at that. Y'all see how they look? Look at those scales. Let me get closer. Ooh. Look at those scales. Wow. Look at that. Now, if you guys could say it with me, everyone know. Now, that ink's popping. Wow, that looks so good. Okay, now let's move on. All right. Moving on to our business card. And you guys are going to see why I didn't tape it in the first place, you know, because it's platter here. And I just, I. So I see some people, they'll do it, you know, at the same time. But me, I don't do that. I just do it, you know, one at a time. So I would press this one first. I'm grabbing the dog tags. You know, here go the dog tag. All right. So we get the bushel paper. <clears throat> let's slide this up a little bit. And let's get it going. Okay, we back. Okay, removing butcher paper. Butcher paper. Set to the side. <clears throat> Remember guys, this thing is hot. So 
I'm gonna try to see if I can reveal it while it's hot like this without hurting myself. Wow. Looks so good. Okay. Okay, cool. I didn't burn me. I, I was scared there for a moment though. Okay, so let me do the other one. Okay, so yeah. Get thicker, get thicker heat gloves, okay? Because this stuff is no joke, it is hot. I feel it through my gloves. I mean, I might be still using, but hey, I can feel that heat. Yeah. I don't like the heat like that. So what I was doing is just taking the you know, taking the um the heat tape off my glove. You know how they go, just stick on there and act like they want to come off. All right, everybody. Wow. Okay. I guess before we press the next item, I'm just gonna show you guys what these look like for now. Turn this back light off. Okay, cool. More light. Here we go. Okay. I'm jump. Getting closer. I'm doing one at a time. Look at that. Guys, look at that. Man, if you guys were here, you could see even better. And what I'm saying, I mean, did, you get to see what I'm saying. We were here. Wow, that looks so good. Wow, I like this. Mm hmm. Okay. So now, I'm going to grab my heat tape, heat resistant tape. So we could go ahead and just do the other side. Bear with me, okay? Now, you don't supposed to do this, okay? But I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. So, I'll take my gloves off, make it easier for me to work with. <clears throat> but remember, though, check and see if it's if it's hot, though, because you do not want to mess with this if it's real, real hot, in which it is still hot. So I could take a little bit of it just to get it on here, okay? Ouch. Ouch. Okay. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the, the tape gun. That's the tape gun. The tape dispenser. And I'm going to remove the items. And I'm going to do it on the tape, okay? Where it's not hot at. Because this is no joke. So bear with me, okay? Coming back. All right, everyone, and we are back. Remember, we already heat pressed this side, these sides of the dog tag and the business card, in which I'm making this a Kobe card, okay? So I'm just showing you guys, we had um, pressed this already, and now we're going to press the other side, okay? And I'm going to do a tutorial one day where I have both sides taped up to see how that turns out, okay? So here we go. Set an item on top of the butcher paper. I'm gonna grab the butcher paper, put it on top, put on your lid, and let it do its thing. Okay, we're back. All right, let's move the paper. Pull this up some. Have on your heat gloves, okay? This stuff is very hot. Very hot, it hurts. It hurts. All right, so I'm gonna try to reveal this one here. Okay. And I'm going to do this one here, too. When I tell you it's hot, it's hot. Wow, this stuff is hot. 
This one for the gloves. Man, I won't be able to take it. Okay. So I'm just getting the tape off of it. Bear with me, guys. Get in. We're removing the tape. Removing the tape. Removing the tape. Oh. Let me get this trash out the way. Slide up. A bunch of paper. Okay. See the results. Okay. I'm going to do it one at a time, okay? So, as y'all see here, COVID. Put a little light into it. Not too much. But get away from the light. Come in close. Hope y'all can see that. I'm gonna flip it. Looks so good. Wow. Okay. You got a dog tag. Hope y'all can see this. Hope y'all can see this. Let me get out the light. See that? Hope y'all can see this. See that? Looks so good. Wow. Okay, let me set these to the side so I can conclude this video. Oh, it's hot. Move, move back. Let me um, lift up the camera. You gotta go see a little shake. But hey, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Let me pull back the camera so I can talk to y'all a little bit. Just a little. All right. I'm back, guys. Sweaty forehead and all. Ooh, man. Okay, um, when it came to burning the wood, um, as you guys see here, I always know to use smooth, flat surface, but I wanted to try something out because I wanted to get a certain type of look and cup because I was hoping that the laminated paper, laminated sheet could seek in and little cracks and give it a little different type of look. But hey, it's not too shabby because I could do some touch up and I can make the use of this. Believe me. Somebody, see, let me show you guys from the back here. I was trying to see if I could get it look similar to this because of the black scales on, you know, of Kobe. And I would hope it would give it some type of sexy look by using this board. But hey, trial and error. Like I tell you guys all the time. I'm not trying to be Mr. Perfect every single time. Uh, if I mess up, I'm going to see what I did wrong. We're going to correct it, and we're going to move on from there. Okay? So, um, with that being said, you guys seen the license plates. You guys seen the dog tag. You, you guys seen the business card, which I made into a Kobe card. And stuff look nice. It look good. Um, thank, for, thank you guys for watching. And again, if I deserve your like and subscribe, please, guys, do that for me. Until then, that ain't popping. And that ain't show enough. We have your item rocking. Peace out.